Hi, my name is Larry Jamieson and I would like to welcome you to Video Station. We are a professional film transfer company established in 1979. In this video I'm going to show you how you can copy your old cine films at home to a digital format such as DVD. Now I must warn you that the process is not simple but with a little bit of practice you should be able to get acceptable results. Now before you proceed you should not use your precious movies to experiment. Use some unwanted film with good image quality like package movies. The most important piece of equipment you will use will be your projector. This is a Umig P8 and is a very good machine if you have standard 8mm film. It is kind to film and has the all-important speed control which you will need to remove flicker. Try to avoid projectors that use lamps like these. They're expensive to buy and difficult to find. They also give very poor illumination. Start by projecting some blank film or no film at all onto a white surface. And make sure you have overall illumination. Lace your film and project onto the white surface. Incidentally, this can be a very good way to copy your film if you can get the camera in line with the screen. The main problems are that you need to work in the dark and have the camera on the side which will provide some distortion of the image. The other thing you can use is either a back projection device or a telecine box. Anyway, more about the projector. Now, if you are going to transfer films yourself you will need a projector with a speed control and preferably quartz halogen lighting. As this machine is dual gauge we can use a single projector for both formats. It is essential you clean the gate of your machine to avoid scratching your film. Some of the older projectors were extremely well made but they do generate a lot of heat. It can also be expensive and difficult to get replacement lamps. Using a telecine box like this will help you work in low light conditions rather than complete darkness. You will need to go into your camera menu and select the manual settings. First switch to indoor lighting, then manual focus and exposure. Set the projector to be in as straight a line as possible with the screen of the telecine box. Now make sure the camera is also in a straight line and aim towards the center of the telecine box lens. If possible, try to diffuse the light as this will help alleviate hot spots, that is uneven illumination. Now project some package movie and turn the speed control until the flicker disappears. As you zoom in, be sure to check for overall illumination and sharp focus in all areas of the picture. If they are wrong, adjust your camera. So here is a typical setup that you might use at home. We are using a Panasonic domestic camcorder, Super 8 projector with variable speed of course and a Camlink telecine box. Now as you can see the pictures are quite acceptable but as I said at the beginning it is not easy to achieve and you do require a little practice. Your final results will depend on the quality of the original film, the resolution from your camera and of course your patience. Now if you don't have the equipment or can't be bothered there are many companies that exist that can transfer the film for you. The one piece of advice that you should learn is always ask for a sample of your film before parting with your money. If you want the ultimate transfer, 
try to have them converted on a telecine machine called the flash scan. Let us show you how this incredible machine will transform your old movies into the digital images we use today. Have a look at our other video on the Flashcan Telecine or visit our website. And thank you for watching.